So today we doing this. That's why we gotta protect the trap. But hey, anyways, y'all make sure to like and comment and subscribe because I'm busting out these bangers for y'all. Make sure to tap the bell notification to get notifications on the new videos. Y'all know how it is. Without further ado, let's begin. Just a reminder, doing a giveaway, Instagram link will be in the description with a post explaining how to enter. All right, let's hop into Magic Eraser. All f photo um, stock photos will be linked in the description. This is one of the backgrounds we'll be using. I need the grass out of it, so as you can see, I'm just over here trying to erase the sky. We're trying to get a good cut. Don't want none of their legs. You can see a little bit of their legs poking out, so I'm just trying to get it right. All right. So we're going to erase the sky and we're going to save that. Then we hop into Adobe Photoshop. We're going to pull up the next background we're using. This is a city background. Right now I'm just going to add some effects to it. Clarity, sharpen, and reduce luminance. Again, all these stock photos can be found. Link in the description. I'm just going to play with the dehaze. See, that's about it all right so we're gonna go ahead and save that as well now we hop out of ps express hop into pro knockout gonna press super impose and now we gotta load the picture there we got the city and now we got the grass i'm just placing the grass how i want it so it has the city in the background just slightly with the you know now i just loaded the fence the wooden fence you're going to use the copy tool, the plus one, and just add some more, three, so that it is the width of the cover. All right, after that, you want to slide over to filter. We're going to add a filter over it. And just bring out the colors a little bit more. We're going to use Linear. I think it was Linear that I used. The transfer, transfer, transfer. Yeah, it was definitely transfer. So we're going to use transfer on all of them. Boom. Once you've done that, you also want to change the grass as well. I decided to use linear for the grass because it really brought out that green. I was just looking through the other options, but I eventually went with Linear. After that, you do want to go ahead and save. Once you save, we want to load the cover back into the uh, app. And now we're going to add the house. If you want to know how to change the color of the house, you just slide over and tap Effects. And then tap hue and it will allow you to change the color of the house. I decided to go with the, the orange turquoise looking color. But I'm just sliding so you guys can see the different color variations. Again, all stock images will be linked in the description. You can have the, you can find this house link in the description. So yeah, I went with the orange and the turquoise looking color. Now I'm just placing the house how I want it to be in the cover. Didn't want it to be too big because I need space for the uh, other stock images and I also need space for the um, title. So yes, yeah, so I make the house smaller because again, I didn't want it to be too big. After that, now we're adding the helicopter. Now we're just going to put that right above the house so it kind of looks like it's hovering. Then we save. Alright, we're going to load the cover back into the picture and now we got to load some of the um, graffiti that we're going to put on the house I know the house already has some uh, graffiti on it near the bottom but I just wanted some on the wood too so 
so we save that. Hop back into it. Now we're adding the spotlight, the police light that's gonna descend from the helicopter. I'm gonna put that right under the helicopter so it looks like it's shining, it's making a path so everything is like you know visible. Then we're gonna use the blend tool and blend that in. I was just eyeing it for a moment to make sure that it was like the light that I wanted, but <laughs> all right. I'm just looking at it and we're gonna go ahead and add the policeman, the SWAT team. It's nice that the one at the very end looked like he's coming behind a corner. They don't they're not exactly straight along. So it added that nice effect like they were creeping around the back of the house. Maybe they got down from the helicopter. But what you want to do is place them at the far right of the house. So the last one looked like he's creeping around the corner. And we're just gonna place it. A good do good placement so it look realistic and like they're actually walking up the house and they are too big so we're gonna make them smaller yeah they look giant we don't want them too big we do also have to add an effect to them And fade works good. Alright, so we go ahead and save. We're gonna load into smoke PNG. Cause I just wanted a extra smoke because the house kinda blocks all the other smoke from the city, so I just wanted um one you know just to balance out the cover on the other side so boom looking for the best one that matches the color of the smoke but that's the best I could get so yeah we just want to head with that lightly darker smoke so yeah, we went and saved, and we're going to load the entire cover one more time. That's to add an effect over the entirety of it. Yeah, we're just going to add some vignette so it makes it darker, so it makes more sense for that spotlight from before. All right, now we're going to load the cover into PS Express. That's the app, and we're going to edit it, adjustments, effects, add some clarity, add some sharpen. Reduce luminance. You already know we have to add the luminance. <laughs> luminance. Always get you some luminance. But hey, now we're gonna add some dehaze. I think I was looking at the tint and vibrance. There we go. Bring out those colors more. Now we're going to go ahead and save. And you probably know what we ought to do next. Snap seed. So we're going to add in there. I did do a lot of um, settings uh, variations in the grunge. So at the end of the editing with the grunge, I would just leave a spreadsheet of all the uh, last edits I use. So, yeah. Don't worry about it because I am going a little bit fast. I did double up the speed of this because I did take longer than expected. So I was just playing around with the different variations again. At the end of the editing with the grunge, I will have a spreadsheet showing the um, final settings for the grunge. Yeah, you can see I started playing with the style again and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I'm just all over the place with these settings because I was, I just kept not finding the right, um, all right, so boom. Now we're going to add some selective. You're going to make the ground that they're working on just a bit more darker. As you can see the difference. Save that. Now we're going to export. Save as copy. Ah, right, bam. Now we're going to hop back into PS Express. You know, that has some clarity, some sharpening, and some reduced luminance. Make sure to add your luminance, people. I do play with the shadows too. But I didn't add any. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save that. Go into Fonto. Again, I started out with a different font than what I ended with. So I sped up the process just 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 by like I think two times the speed. Um I have the uh name of the font that I end up choosing, link in the description. And if you want to know how to download that font, um link to that video will also be in the description. If you want to know the link, uh, the name to this font as well, I'll probably have that in the description. I'll have this one first, and then I have the next font that I use um, finally for the cover in the description as well. Yeah, I end up changing everything to that font. American Captain. Alright, so we save up into, you know, Pro Knockout. As you can see, what I just did was just add the parent cell advisory and my logo. Don't forget that. Alright, so we're going to load it back into PS Express. You can see with the um, parent cell advisory and the logo at the top, add some clarity. One more time, you know, some sharpen. And we're just a little minutes. Some dehaze just to make it just that much darker around the cover. Just to make just that more of a sense of why there's a spotlight protruding from the helicopter. But damn. Alright. We got it. That's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell notification, and make sure y'all leave a comment. I got a lot of suggestions. I think some were like Young Ace and Lil Wayne. I don't know. I'm not going to make promises that I'll, that I'll do them, but I'm going to see if I can do some. We're just going to see what's happening. But yeah, y'all stay with me. All right.